now we are ready to begin to draw our model. So go into the node and element tab and you see here you have two main uh, window, one for the node and one for the elements. So I will create elements first and the node will be created automatically with it. So select the right section for this. So I will choose this one. I will choose the first one here. And for the beta angle uh, which defines the orientation of your section choose 90 degree. Now you can directly click on the grid in order to create your element like that. So create three um, columns. You can view the coordinates in the this part of the screen. And now what I will do is create beam element so I will change the section and use this one and don't forget to select these two options node and element click here and here and now my beam is created you can click on isometric view in order to view the model closer so in this case um, I used uh, the wrong section so I will try to change it so it's very convenient because you can go in the tree menu here and you have directly uh, here in the work panel you have the two section you use so if you want to assign it to your elements you can click here in the single selection select your two elements select the section you want to assign and it will directly be uh, added like that so uh, I assigned two times the same section okay now I have a small section here and the big section here and here I define the wrong orientation angle so I will change that again so you can click on change parameter and select again these two beams in order to uh, click on element local axis and here select zero in order to rotate these two beams so now it's correct now I will go from the user coordinate system to uh, I will come back to the global coordinate system so click here uh, no sorry go in the view window click to global coordinate system and what I will do is to translate this frame so go into node elements translate select these elements and don't forget to uh, enter the right distance so it will be 0 20 because I want to translate these in a y direction click on apply and it's done and now I will directly uh, create some beams to link these two uh, models so again click on create elements this time uh, choose the right section so it's this one zero for uh, the beta angle click directly on the node like that and very easily you can create these three elements now I will create another element here at the middle so you should choose the middle of this element and not a node so in order to not to got a wrong thing you can unactivate the snap uh, so snap to the node for example and in this case sorry I got it wrong so uh, you can undo any action so click on this button three times in order to suppress also the nodes you created and 
select again middle here and middle here okay now it's done uh, now I want to assign the beam end release to this beam so first of all I will hide the section so you, you will be able to view a bit better um, and I will uh, go into the boundary tab and here you have a button for the beam end release so click on that click on uh, single and select these two nodes now click on pins pins oh sorry you have to uh, select the element not the nodes for the beam and release click on apply and here you have some green signs here who tell you that the beam and release has been applied you can see the node uh, numbers and uh, element numbers if you click here and what I will do is that I will translate this element uh, to this place to this place so click on translate again select single select this element and here you have to uh, so it's very important to select intersect node and element and also to copy the element attribute in order to copy the beam end release to uh, this position so click on echo on the distance here select the middle of this beam and now manually enter 0 20 uh, no sorry 20 0 and 0 and click on apply so uh, I have to save so you see auto it automatically asks you to save the project so you won't forget to save it